Greetings, it's Vagram, back again for another mod guide, this time at the request of Crazy Pants, the creator of Ender.io. Crazy Pants has requested that we put out some information regarding some new features that he's put into his conduits. Great updates to the interface, great updates to capabilities. These things are very, very functional, very easy to use. I'll show you what I did right there. You walk up to one, and you have this plate that connects it to another point. All you need to do is right-click, and you can change the mode, disable it completely, change the functionality, whatever you want. These things are very easy. There's two different kinds down here at the bottom. are the basic conduits, and these right here are the empowered conduits. Basic conduits basically move single items at a time, while empowered conduits move entire stacks. Very, very nice. Very, very cool. And there's also the trusty Yetta wrench. You can change the mode of these things however you want with the Yetta wrench. Now, I would really love to show you some more capabilities of these things. I really would. But it seems to me that you would almost have to get inside one of these anybody little things. And I'm just not sure that I can fit in one of those right now. So what I've done instead is I've blown one up to scale for you. There we go. I think this should be a big enough model representation of what we need to get inside the brain of this thing and get some work done, shall we? Don't mind the dryads. I keep telling them to get a damn job, but they ignore me. Okay. So, predominantly, this focuses on item conduits. But a lot of what I'm saying here will go for all the different kinds of conduits, even power conduits. Basically, I have a simple setup right here. Two chests. I have some, i to turn that clutter off, some cobblestone right here in the left chest. Nothing in the right chest. Now, normal functionality. You go over here. We want to extract this is redstone mode, and we've got all these different options. I like always active. It pulls out one at a time, and what you'll notice, that cobblestone is disappearing. It is being pulled from this chest into that chest. Simple, straightforward, and to the point. This is a regular item conduit, by the way. It's very to the point. It's very what you need. Now, there's so much more that you can do with these conduits, by the way, like this crazy setup right here. This is a sag mill. That's weird. This is a sag mill, S-A-G. The sag mill is one of the premier machines inside Ender I.O. It's very, very useful, very capable. On the left, I have a chest with cobblestone. On the right, I have an empty chest. And I have this in the center. Now, this only has one input slot. And I have three stacks of cobblestone. Now, in normal systems, in normal setups, in normal pipe systems, what this would mean is that this first destination here would get hit. Then this second destination over here would start receiving all the cobblestone. But Crazy Pants has put in a very, very nice and very neat feature that's called Sticky Mode. Basically, what Sticky Mode does is it looks at the whitelist of items. I've put cobblestone on the whitelist and I've turned on sticky mode. That's what off looks like. There's on. Now what this means is that sticky mode accepts, not only is it whitelisted to only accept cobblestone, but no other place on the network can receive cobblestone, even if it has space. So this one is not whitelisted for cobblestone, nor does it have sticky mode turned on. It's just an ordinary receiving point. Now, to make matters even more interesting, I have this one set to green to receive redstone signal, and that is active with signal. My machine is even active with signal. And up here, I've got a lever. You'll notice I have a little green band right there. I can actually right-click and change the cover however I want. I circle back around to green there. And basically, what I'm going to do is, with the flip of the lever, voila, a stack has already been delivered. 
Oh, I'm sorry, individuals who have already been delivered. This is normal conduit, not tier two conduit. This is tier one conduit. And this machine is grinding away and making much needed sand for my glass uh, needs. I can cook that sand up later, turn it into whatever else I need. But basically, you'll see it's keeping a full stack over here. We still have the reserve, and it is not spilling over into this chest. You can thank Sticky Mode for that. Sticky Mode is very, very useful. That's basically what all of this is being coordinated by. If you have something set to the whitelist, and the Sticky Mode is on, then it won't spill out anywhere else. It will only go to that location when that location has space. That's it. It's a simple feature, but it's a beautiful feature. Now, there's something about this entire setup I'd like to point out, right? I have this set to green. This conduit is looking for green, and this is colored green. Now, technically speaking, I have this redstone conduit here in the same place. You see it right here? I have it colored green also, but I don't need it to be colored green. I can actually change it to brown. All of this still works. You'll notice, we can watch it, 50. It'll decrement one more, down to 49. You don't have to have all of your colors unified every single point. As long as this is the same, and this is the same right here, it'll all work out as long as you have redstone conduit connecting. I don't even need to color this one down here because the machine doesn't care. It just looks for a redstone signal. So this is a beautiful and simple setup that you can do. Just an example. I've made some more further down the pipe. Now here's a simple one to show that this not only works with Ender I.O. machines, it works with vanilla machines as well. This is an ordinary furnace. Nothing fancy about it. Again, I have a chest that is set to receive. Now this time it is, we'll check it right here, always active. I have no fancy redstone controls. This is just going to go down here, the receiving point, I have sand in sticky mode. Now what I'm going to do is show you. I've got cobblestone, right? If I start putting this cobblestone, cobblestone starts showing up down here. But what if I come down here, grab some of this sand, and put it in place? I'm going to cheat and take that out. Now the sand is disappearing, and it's going here. There's our sand, fully delivered. I wonder if I've got any more. Yes, we have some more. If I put sand back in there, the only place sand will go in this grid is right here. Because again, sticky mode is on. Sand is the filter. So sand will never go over here. Because this one, sticky mode off, empty whitelist. Now, just for the record, you can change it to blacklist if I wanted to. I could put cobblestone on this blacklist. And that means that the cobblestone would just stay down there. It's a very good system. It's a very good way of doing things. But, don't need to. So, it's very simple. It's a good way to ensure that things on a system get exactly where you want them to go. It also means you can have some tighter builds. It's a real good system. It's a real good setup. I like it. Now, down here, we have a lot of things. I have three furnaces set up. Now, to make things even more complicated, there's a pipe down here that is actually piping blocks of coal. I tell you what, I think all of these furnaces are filled up. I'm just going to take these blocks of coal out. Let me check first. Full, full, yeah, and full. So, basically, this one is set. Always active. Blacklist. Block of coal. Because I don't want block of coal coming up the top. Now, this machine is set Sticky mode, cobblestone. This is set for sand, and this is set for jungle wood. Ignore NBT data, ignore metadata. Now, or dictionary enabled. Now, you'll notice this has some more features here than this one does. There's an extra line, and there's some buttons missing. Well, this is, you can actually notice right here in the middle, there's a little extra, a little 
ender pearl right in the middle of that icon. This block doesn't have that. This is a tier one item conduit. This is a tier two item conduit. That's the big difference. There's more features on tier twos. Tier twos have or dictionary. You can filter by metadata, or you can ignore it. You can ignore or you filter by MBT data. You can still use the whitelist, and you have that sticky mode. Now, I put jungle wood in here. I'm mostly curious to see what happens. So I'm just going to grab an assortment of things. And let's see what happens. Now we have this one filling up very, very fast, but what's going to happen when it fills up all the way? 64. Okay, now all of a sudden this one receives sand, not cobblestone, despite the fact that there's still cobblestone in there. This one is ticking up on sand, ticking up on sand. There we go. And this one is receiving jungle wood logs. Now, here's the thing. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure jungle wood logs will go in there. The spruce won't, even though it's ore dictionary. But that's an argument for another day. Basically, this is a perfect situation. <clears throat> oh, no, that is working. What happened? Let's find out. There you go. So logs are logs. This really is ignoring metadata. It really is ignoring NBT data. It's using or dictionary to find log or log equivalents, which means I can put those back in there and it will truck away, making charcoal, glass, and smooth stone. Okay. I'm just going to put those all back. I really like this setup. It really means that you can organize things. If you've got so much coal, that is coming out of your ears. Or if you make charcoal automatically, you can really set up systems like this to kind of automate some of the simpler, easier cooking that you just really shouldn't have to mess with. Now this is a little bit more involved. This setup is a little bigger. What I've done is just an array of chests or trapped chests right next to each other. Nothing in any of them. This chest is empty. This is set to extract. Always active, right? Okay. And these are all tier two pipes, by the way. These will all move a stack at a time. That's determined by the point that it's pulling, by the way. Down here, I have an ordinary tier one pipe. That's why it only sends one out, even though this is a tier two down here. Now, this is all tier two, which means this is all going to be a stack at a time. If I right click on here, you'll see I get the extra slots down here across the bottom, as well as some of this extra functionality like or dictionary. Now, what I'm going to do, I've got a whole bunch of stuff. Let's get the ingots first and start with that. Whoops. So, gold and iron both disappear. Both should be down here. Now, this is a perfectly empty chest. There is nothing in the filter. Why is it showing up all the way down to the end? How am I controlling well, that, again, is sticky mode. And here's something interesting that you notice. Sticky mode is on. I also have ore dictionary on. But I only have thermal expansion copper in there, not mechanism copper. What's going to happen? If I put the thermal expansion copper, it disappears. Mechanism copper? No. 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 Aha. So, it only requires one ingot of any kind of copper, one of any kind of tin, silver, iron, gold, whatever. And you've got a very simple sorting system. Oh, I completely missed one. There's all my ingots right there. Now, to make matters even more interesting, I've got a whole bunch of wool. But this only has white wool in the sticky mode, whitelist filter. So what's going to happen? I have metadata off, MBT off. That means that it'll take all these kinds of wool and it all shows up here. It's only one thing in the filter. All because or dictionary is turned on. All because I've turned these off. Very, very neat. I even have wood that I can put in here 
that has all been filtered down to here. Very cool. Now, if I wanted to, I could actually take one, all three of these off and still use this system. All the logs would still show up there because it's still all wood logs. It's just different kinds. So, there's so many capabilities with the system. Between redstone signaling control, between the different tiers of pipes that can do single items or conduit, I mean stacks, uh, you have complete control. You have color-coordinated redstone control, so you can have multiple things going on on one redstone network system. Uh, all of these things. And on top of that, Crazy Pants has added sticky mode. It's really interesting. It's really fascinating. And I really think that it's going to be a big hit with everyone. It allows for a lot of control, even early game. It really, really does. And I think it's fabulous. So, again, this is Vagram signing off. If you have anything else that you've seen like this that is a strange or interesting mod feature that you just don't understand and you need a bit more help with, let me know. Add it in the comments. Or are there parts of a mod that you know how to use that you always see other players baffled with? Give me a comment, finally on Twitter, at Vagram, or put a comment in the video below. I would love to hear from you. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.